Hello and welcome. My name is Christoph Putz and I'm your IT career guide. In today's video I want to talk about career planning in the area of information security. But it's also a very complex area and there are many areas that most people are not even aware of that they exist. So I think it's really important and critical for you if you want to get into information security to take a look at the different roles and areas and then map out your ideal plan of where you want to go. And so let's take a look at the information security career map and professional map that I have created. And then you can see really what are the overall areas, where, have to, where do you have to go from an education perspective, and then what are the different roles that you can obtain in information security. So before we get into this video, if you don't mind hitting the subscribe button and uh, hit the like button at the same time, it will really help me with YouTube. So careers in information security. I have uh, created this map here to really lay out the different uh, type of tracks or paths that you can travel with in information security. I will show you how to get into information security. So in regards to education, what you need to look at or work experience. And then we um, go into that level of detail really to see what type of professions are available in information security for you so that you can plan out your career. So up here I have the information security sub areas that I want to point out. So information security is actually a really large field. So information security can be broken down in several sub areas. What I have listed here is governance, risk and compliance, secure DevOps, data loss prevention, identity and access management, incident response and forensic analysis, penetration testing and ethical hacking, secure software development, architecture and policy, cryptography, and vulnerability management. So these are the areas where you should take a look and see what interests you most, because each of these areas almost turns into its own full-time track. So you cannot just generically switch back and forth. There's a lot of subject matter expertise that has to be built up. And uh, so once you settle for one area, you will work in that area for a while. And of course, you can make moves into other areas or combine them. That also depends on how the different companies handle it. But uh, to really become that subject matter expert, uh, you have to focus at least on one or two of these areas and then go deep. So next we have the overall careers and information security area. What I have broken down here is a how to get into information security on the left side and then the different areas where you can work and um, the areas I kept generic enough because they will translate over into the sub areas that I had pointed out earlier. So we'll start on the left hand side of this map and uh, how can you get into information security. So at the top, I start with work experience. So let's say you work in information technology, you have a good background in infrastructure or network engineering, it's a great entry point to get into information security. The reason why I point out the work experience first is because right underneath I have IT certifications listed. And often the path going through a certification combined with existing work experience as a great door opener for that new career in information security. So let's have a look at the IT certifications, how to get into information security. So up on top, I have the CompTIA Security Plus and the ISC Associate. Those two certifications are more entry level. I would not consider those alone to be strong enough to get you into information security. So it uh, might be for a junior level role, but uh, really if you want to get into information security, I would say you need at least one of these certifications combined with either college education or a more advanced information technology certification for information security. So the more advanced certifications that I have listed here are the CEH, Certified Ethical Hacker, the CISA, that's the Certified Information Security Auditor, the CISSP, which is the Certified Information Security Professional, then the CISM, the Certified Information Security Manager, CCSP, Certified Cloud Security Professional, and the HCISPP, the Healthcare Information Security and Privacy Practitioner. So these are certifications that go in different directions and they can open up different paths in information security. So you want to take a look at those and just see which ones fit 
the best with where you want to go. And that's really why it's important to map these things out. If you look up on top where I had the information security sub areas, like starting with governance, risk and compliance and ending with vulnerability management, these certifications partially match up with these type of sub areas. So you want to take a look first and see, okay, what is aligned where and how can I use this to my advantage to get into this field? So now we're taking the look at the college education, which is the classical path into information technology and information security. There are three different paths that I've listed here. So college education, in this case, I have undergraduate, graduate, and master's. The master's, of course, goes on top of graduate, but we'll leave this uh, level of detail a, bit, a little bit vague for obvious reasons. So this is a high-level map and it shall just give you an idea of what to look for so that you can spend your time researching and mapping out your appropriate path into information security. So let's start with the middle with the undergraduate. And undergraduate programs, you can go into information technology, you can look for tracks in regards to cybersecurity or computer science. So those uh, information technology and computer science, I want to say, are more stretched out into the overall area of information technology. They both include some information security, but they're not specialized in that regards. For those programs in general, if you're an undergraduate, you probably want to combine it with a certification as mentioned above so that you really show the right credentials, that you have a solid foundation and then the custom subject matter expertise that you need to get into information security. Next, we're looking at the graduate program. So, and again, I have this listed out here as computer science, cybersecurity, and information technology. So very much in line with the undergraduate programs, and you could combine the two and uh, go for the full Monty, of course. But again, the information technology and computer science, not that they are generic, but they include some information security, but they're not bringing you to that whole level as if you would go straight for a cybersecurity or information security track. So and last but not least, the masters. And um, it's the same areas here. Why I want to point out the masters is really once you want to get into management and information security, that's where the masters can make a big difference. In other areas of information technology, you might be able to break into the field with a certification, and then even make it up into middle management, I would say director and senior director level. But many companies really require that you have a master's if you want to go above director level, senior director, vice president, and higher. So if, if you are interested in information security management and you want to go past the director slash senior director level, you might want to look for the master's and really make sure that you have that on your resume as well, because some companies, if you are looking for like becoming a CISO, a chief information security officer, they might require that you have a master's degree. So just be aware. So now on the right-hand side of this career map for information security, I have the different roles spelled out. There are I want to say a little bit generic again. Up on top, you saw the list with the sub areas, and these roles can go almost into all of these sub areas. But it's important really to understand okay, how does that look like? What type of roles are available in general? And we'll start up on top here in the upper right with the information security support roles. When you look at the job titles here, I have information security analyst, cryptography analyst, information security specialist, forensic computer analyst, and malware analyst. So a lot of analyst type of roles. So it's not just support in information security, you will also run programs or software applications that you are responsible for. And there are so many, so I'm not going to spell these out. I'll give you really the opportunity to research and identify those that apply to you. I'll make additional videos down the road where we go into a little more detailed level for these. But for now, this is really just high level. Next, I call it the information security front office. And uh, I couldn't really come up with the right name, it's, it's hard to pin down. So the security auditor and penetration tester. You could say it's operations, but then again, not really. So I call this a front office. It's, it's a term I just picked. Uh, you will not find it if you search for it, so I don't look for it. It's really more, I wanted to find a place for the security auditor 
and the penetration tester, because these are two specialized roles that might not necessarily have a home in other areas. Specifically, if you look at the information secu security support area, the analyst roles, these two, um, the security auditor and the penetration tester, do not fit that bill at all. Then we have the information security operations, and that's information security system administration or the information security engineer. So you would be engineering solution or you would be administering and engineering these type of solutions. That's really where the applications and the entire infrastructure are managed from an infosec perspective. And now we're talking about management, information security management. You heard me talking about the master's and graduate degree earlier. I'm listing out the chief information security officer, the CISO, and many companies require that you have a master's degree if you want to become a CISO. Then we have the information security director and information security manager. I am listing those out here separately from normal IT management because these are more specialized roles. You can be, I don't want to say a fairly generic manager on infrastructure or help desk or networking. It's, it's easier to be or to come from a more generic background in those areas. For information security, the challenges are significantly higher and you need to have some customized special knowledge in information security to really be effective in these roles. So that's where you could, let's say, be an help desk or infrastructure manager. Then you go for a CISSP certification or for the CISM certified information security manager certification, and then hopefully combine it with a little work experience, and then you can take these roles. And then I have the last but not least, the information security strategic roles. And that's uh, the information security architect and the information security consultant. The architect needs to be able to really understand and build solutions that have information security in mind. It is very different. And a normal systems architect, while they do a great job in designing solutions and building net networks and all that stuff, there is really a need to have more specialized knowledge from a security perspective. And that's really where you want to look at these roles. They are not that common. You will not find them that often. They're very specialized, so there are not that many candidates. And accordingly, um, these individuals can demand a much higher salary. For all these roles, you will have above average salaries compared to the rest of information technology. And then I'm listing out the information security consultant. That role goes into many different areas. A consultant uh, can be here, it can be under management, it can be under operations, maybe even in the front office areas. It's a very specific role and often these individuals start their own companies and then uh, can demand much, much higher prices. So I have not listed out the um, software development area and uh, that is for a good reason. So software development is usually done in in uh, other ways, it's not run under the information security umbrella and uh, you would be part of a normal software development team, uh, potentially with some more information security uh, specific items in your role. But overall, that's really where this more comes into play and so I decided to leave it outside of this map. If you're interested, I would start with looking into software development itself so that you um, are really an experienced software developer and then go after the uh, software development uh, in, in the perspective from information security. So I hope you liked this video and uh, this map gives you a great starting point for your future career in information technology. If you like this video, again, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. And then I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.